Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. And in today's tutorial, we're going to start a little mini series at looking at the legs and glutes on our characters while they're walking and running. So basically, we're just going to worry about the uh, legs and glutes here. So we're not going to do full characters. Uh, I'll still put in a center line here. And we'll give a slightly angled line here for our hips and we'll just try to keep these somewhat even connect like this bring it up just like what we normally do for the hips like so but for this first one this first part I think we'll just have the character just sort of walking towards us nothing crazy We'll do that. We can have our little lines here just to show that you know there's a body there. Kind of mark that off like so. There. All right. Just kind of make this a little bit longer here. We have more hips to play with there we go okay so first of all we'll have this angled portion here we'll have this be this uh, right side the high side this will be the leg that's kind of coming towards us so what I like to do for characters that are walking straight towards us and don't keep the leg just like straight out like this you can if you want but I like to kind of keep it out in front just a little bit so it's gonna kind of cut across like so and keep in mind that since this leg is coming towards us, there is going to be some perspective at play here. So it's, uh, <coughs> you'll kind of see what I mean, especially compared to this leg, which will be just back behind us. Kind of basically following that same super slight angle cutting in towards our center line, but this time it's just behind. But we still want to keep like the knees and everything in the same position here so for starters we'll do our inside line first and i just kind of connect it there where the hips meet here in the middle and i do a shape like that keeping it kind of thick just below the hip line same with the thighs over here keeping it at the thickest kind of up in this area we can bring it in we can I like to follow this inside leg line for the knee just kind of follow it around um, for this because she's walking at us we will see the calf bump on both sides but we'll keep it less exaggerated on this inside line and then more exaggerated on the outside like so and then super simple feet again <coughs> for this walking tutorial like so and then we'll go ahead and do this one so this leg here is going to be pushed away from us a bit so what we want to do is kind of just exaggerate the leg getting smaller and smaller as it gets further and further behind. So you'll notice that, you know, the calf isn't quite as large. Um, we still want the length pretty much the same. Um, just because, you know, this character isn't like running, which in our running ones, then it'll be a little bit different. I am going to rotate my character just a little bit, just so it looks like she's supporting her weight better. <clears throat> there we go. <coughs> and then from here, I'll draw a little line here so we can see that the foot is you know, on the ground here. Like so. Something like that this here 
So I'm just trying to get the thighs right over here. Like so. So it's really just about getting the angle right. And uh, with the foreshortening, basically when they're walking, unless you're trying to really exaggerate it, <coughs> you don't have to go crazy with it for it to look right. So you don't have to make it way, way smaller, but I mean, you can see that in this, you know, this calf is menially smaller than this calf. Um, the thigh as well, it's tapering off to be a little bit thinner at the knee than this leg over here because this leg is coming out towards us whereas this leg over here is uh, kind of behind this other one it's in the background a little bit more I'm gonna rotate this leg just a touch I kind of brought it in towards my center line a little too much there we go just like that so that's basically what we're looking for here Super simple to begin with. I'm just gonna move this to the side though, just so I have room. Okay, so I'll do the line art. Again, I'm not too concerned about the quality of my lines here. Just trying to go over what we did here. So I'll pop these in like so. Simple belly lines. We'll add the base of the hips here in the middle. Then we'll bring this in and follow it around our knee. <coughs> Same thing over here, keeping the thigh thicker at the top. Then we'll bring in our calves, followed by our simple foot. joints there and then for over here kind of pushing it back away from us a bit like so seeing a little bit less size in the calf and then we can have the foot coming down at a slight angle here, since it's technically raised back there. So I'll kind of just pop the heel in a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see that. Kinda make this look a little bit nicer though. There we go. And then we can put in our ankles like so and then we'll just barely see the glutes as well from here so we'll put those in like that i kind of fix this line so for this one it's pretty simple when they're walking there's not going to be any you know ultra exaggerated um perspective going on we'll we'll give more intensity to the perspective uh, when we do our running character that way it can help further show, you know, the intensity of what's going on. So I gotta fix this hip over here. It's kind of crazy looking. Same with this one. But basically, did what we needed to for this tutorial here. Don't want to waste too much of your guys' time with me doing these little edits here, but... Basically, we've got one leg coming towards us. I like to kind of, you don't want to push the center line too much because then it makes it hard to look like your character is actually supporting their own weight. But I like to push the center line just a little bit so it's not just a completely, you know, walking out or walking just completely straight, you know, like this. That still looks fine, but just to add a little bit of a more dynamic pose, I like to just bring that line in just a little bit and then for this one, you're basically doing the exact same thing, but just the opposite. So they kind of come together. So for our running one, we'll exaggerate that a little bit and you'll see what I mean there. But for right now, hopefully this helps you get your leg positioning a little bit better for your walking characters. 
So hope you found this helpful. I'll see you in the next one.